quantity versus pressure. Fuel systems are basically an open hydraulic system. It relies on the quantity balance of the system. So in other words, if we have a system that consumes 50 gallons per hour of fuel, we need to supply that system with at least that much the high pressure pump in order for it to work properly. And that all comes from the supply pump system itself. So we gotta make sure that that balance is correct when we deliver that fuel to that high pressure pump and allow for that. Restrictions in a system, fuel filterization is also important. This also has to be built to make sure we get the right amount of fuel for the life of that system to make sure we get adequate fuel for that fuel pump for longevity. So, in other words, if you have less quantity than the system consumes, you're gonna run the risk of cavitation and associated failures with that cavitation problem. It doesn't matter what type of system you have. As I mentioned, all the other systems previously that we've had, doesn't matter. The balances are off, your system's probably gonna fail. The system must be maintained a minimum amount of pressure at a given flow rate, or components are gonna be sacrificed and damaged within the system. So example, cavitation damages plungers, housing, inlet valves, valve seats, overflow valves, pressure regulators, inlet valves, timing devices, etc. You get the picture. If we don't supply enough fuel to that high pressure pump, something's going to be sacrificed. So we got to be extremely careful in the balance of this to make sure we have good, clean, filterized fuel getting to the high pressure pump. Let's first talk about the fuel tank itself. So there could be dirt, water contamination, DEF or gasoline within the fuel tank itself, uh, closed ventilation or a plug vented system, uh, ruptured supply hose or return pipes, or possibly an empty tank. I'm sure some of you have been you know, taken by that at some point in time, trying to diagnose it with an empty fuel tank. If you've been around long enough, it's probably happened. Can't always rely on that fuel gauge to give you an accurate reading of the fuel that's in the tank. Also the supply pump. The supply pump could be either just basically worn out, could be piston spring broken, could be a suction valve pressure defective, could be a leak at the ceiling in the injection pump itself, or possibly even electrical issues can cause these problems as well. Electrical faults today are more prevalent than they have been before. Older pumps, the inline pumps, and some of the axle pumps and radial pumps were of non-electrical design. Basically, we didn't need much electronics to the pump. But as we got into certain radial pumps and other pumps now with common rail, we de depend on the electrical system much more than we ever have before. Fuel filters, a big part of the diesel system. They could be dirty or a faulty fuel filter. Water in the fuel could also be a, an issue. How about an incorrect or a poor quality filter? That also affects the system as well. Make sure you always use a proper quality fuel filter when replacing it in a diesel fuel system. Injection pump. The injection pump could be worn out as well just under normal life. Some of these pumps can make it half a million miles in a lot of cases as long as it gets good clean fuel and the filters are replaced on a regular basis. However, the settings could be faulty, could wear out the pump as well. Defective overflow valve can cause issues with the pump. Uh, pressure valve, defective high pressure lines, contamination, or improper installation could also be a problem with the high pressure pump. We gotta keep that in mind when we're working on these systems that installation and setup of the pump is just as important as keeping clean fuel within that system. 